Hello and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how as a student you can make a posting, read, and reply to a discussion board. So to get started we're going to cover how do you locate a discussion board. From inside a course you'll notice a light blue bar with a class tools drop down menu. If you select this class tools drop down menu you can select discussions. By selecting discussions, you will be brought to the listing of all the discussions that are currently available inside of the course. So here you'll see this gray bar. It says Introduction Discussion Boards, and that's the category. It's not an actual discussion board. The discussion boards are below. Here, Introduction Discussion Board, and below that, Icebreaker Discussion Board example. These are the two discussion boards that I can read I see that I have two unread postings here from my fellow classmates, and five here. So to get started, we'll go ahead and enter the introduction discussion board by selecting the title. Now I've been brought into the introduction discussion board. Here, by scrolling on the left or on the right hand side, I can view the different postings. So here I see Tom has posted an introduction and Scuba Steve has responded to Tom's message. Now if I'd like to, I can reply to Scuba Steve by hitting reply here or to Tom by hitting reply here as well. I can also choose to create a brand new message. To create a new message for this discussion board, I can click the blue Compose button. I'm going to go ahead and select Compose to create a new mouse message. So here's the subject box. I would type in the subject here, and then below I would type in the message to the class. Now you'll notice on this bar above a basic and an advanced tab. If I want to, I can select the basic advance or advanced tab and do some formatting. So I might make my font a little bit larger. I might create a bullet point list if I'd like. And I can also insert an image. I can select this insert image, choose a file, browse my computer, and upload an image. I can create an alternative text for those using a screen river. And now I've uploaded an image to my posting. You'll also notice this blue button here. I'm going to select this image or this button and here I can create a YouTube link if I'd like to share a link with the class. I can also share a link to another URL. So you can um, share resources like URLs, YouTube links, and images with the class. Also, in a message, you can add a file. So if I'd like, I can add um, a Microsoft Word document or maybe a PowerPoint presentation by selecting Add File and choosing to browse my computer. I can also choose this Record Audio Message to record an audio message for the class. To do this, I select Record Audio. I select Allow when the Adobe Flash Player settings box appears and close. Then I choose the red button. I record my message. When I've completed recording, I select the red button again. If I'd like to replay my message, I can choose replay. If I'd like to clear the message, I can choose clear. To add the recording, I would select add below. Now when I'm ready to post, I can go ahead and choose post below. There's also some additional posting options. So if I'd like, I can add specific topics. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose post at the bottom of this message. So I'm going to choose post. Now I'm selecting post and I see my new message appear right at the top of the discussion board and I can scroll down, see the image that I've posted. The um, image is also made as an attachment and the audio file as well as my message to the class. 
Now if I would like to reply to one of the other students posting, I could come down and I could reply to Scuba Steve by choosing this reply button. You can reply next to any posting by choosing reply. So to demo, I'll choose reply. The reply box will come up and I will type a response to Tom here. And when I'm ready, I can choose post. So that's how you locate, read, post, and reply to the discussion board as a student. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial.